welcome. Today I want to talk to you about the functions of Ebasto's Blue Cool My Touch display. For heating and cooling my boat, I am using an air conditioning system by Webasto. As for all products of the Blue Cool series, the standard control element is the digital My Touch display. This touchscreen display enables an easy and intuitive operation of my air conditioning system. Now I'm going to show how it works. On the home screen, the temperature and the blower setting is indicated. By tapping on the on-off button, you can switch the attached device on and off. If the display is not touched for 5 minutes, it automatically goes into standby mode. Now I select the fan mode on the My Touch display. Tap the fan and you can set the required fan speed. If the automatic fan control mode is selected, the symbol A appears on the screen. The control system of the fan automatically adapts the fan speed. Of course you can also manually adjust the fan speed with the plus or the minus symbol. To return to the automatic fan mode, just tap Auto. There are two possibilities to change the settings. After 30 seconds, the menu is automatically resumed to the home screen. Or tap the arrow symbol on the top left corner and the selected settings are then adopted. To set the required cabin temperature, tap the temperature icon. Here you can increase or decrease the set point temperature. Red display design indicates heating mode. Blue design cooling mode. Going back to the home screen, we now go into the passenger menu. To do so, tap the settings icon. To go through the different functions, tap the forward and previous symbol to enter the different setting options. Tap timer and you can shift the timer values with the up and down arrows. The tick symbol marks your current selection. If the system is already switched on, it runs for the selected period of time. After this, the air conditioning system switches off automatically. If it is switched off, the timer acts as a start timer. The system starts automatically after the set time has elapsed. After going back to the passenger menu, we choose brightness. With the arrows, you can adjust the brightness of the display to the current ambient light. Then we go back to the passenger menu and choose language. By tapping on language, the operating language can be set into German, English, French, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, Polish, Russian, Turkish or Slovenian. After that, we go to the passenger menu again and onto page 2. Now we can select the design of the My Touch display. You can choose between three different designs with the top arrows. A part of that you can choose between black or white with the arrows on the bottom. After going back to the passenger menu, select color. The color setting works the same way as the design setting. With the top arrow you select the design. And with the bottom arrow you choose black or white. Now I go back to the passenger menu to select the standby setting. There you can choose between seven designs by tapping the arrows. These designs can be for example the Webasto logo or your own picture or image you can upload via the Blue Coal Expert tool. For this please contact your local Webasto representative for more information. Another great feature shows a black screen where an illuminated dot indicates that the system is still ready for operation. Now we go back to the passenger menu and on to the next side. For setting whether the display makes a sound when you touch the screen, select key tone. Here you can turn the tone on or off. Let's go back to the passenger menu and tap the degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit icon to set the display temperature.
The display temperature unit on the right shows the current selection. Now select the setting cleaning. This setting disables the screen functions for 30 seconds giving you enough time to clean the surface of the display without changing any settings. The remaining cleaning time is displayed with a countdown. When the 30 seconds have elapsed, the My Touch display automatically resumes to the home screen. Thanks for watching the introduction video of our Bluecool My Touch display. I hope you enjoyed it. For further information, please visit the following link or watch our other Bluecool My Touch video tutorials. See you soon.